Hey, what's up guys? So Merry Christmas. Uh, on today's special, we're gonna be wrapping the mini trucks with a little bit of wrapping paper, just for fun, you know, get in the spirit. So let's get right to it. All right, we're about midway so far. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the wheels open or if we'll wrap them too. We just got a little bit more to go and the truck will be wrapped. And there she is, she's all wrapped up. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. It was supposed to be just full for fun, something to do. Only wrap three quarters of the truck, but now we're gonna send it. Hey, how is it going everybody? We are three days away from Christmas right now. I just wanted to give you guys some updates on the mini trucks, just in general. Um, just a quick little clip before we get into our video. <clears throat> so, today I might add in the clips from the grocery store or I might not. Um, the other day I was driving this truck and my front driver's side wheel locked right up on me. Um, my CV axle literally like, I wouldn't say exploded, but pretty much, I mean, it blew apart the you know, the metal housing that connects to my wheel. Um, see if I can turn on my light so you guys can see this better. All right, so now we got the light in here. You'll literally see my CV axle. Like I said, it it pops. Like, the other side of this cup is broken in half. Um, all the bearings are missing from this. It locked my wheel right up. It dented the shock. I mean, it's just been horrible to, to try to even move. So, looks like I got quite a bit of work to do in here. Um, I think for right now, I'm gonna remove the CV axle completely, right from the differential. Uh, so we'll get into that after. And just as another update, the differential went in the red truck yesterday. So we got that home just fine. And she's gonna sit right here until I get it up on some jack stands, do some tests to see if the differential is really a problem. Uh, I'm assuming it is. I mean, I can put the truck in neutral and when I start to push it, the rear wheels got stuck, they locked right up. We waited for four hours for a tow truck. It was like three and a half to four, and we had no luck, so we babied the truck home, and surprisingly, it made it home. We almost we almost hit a deer on our way home, too. I mean, it was just a messy night, so. Both of these trucks are completely down right now. So, with that being said, um, you know, the little black truck that we've been working on, too, just broke down as well. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious. I'll add the clips in right after this, so you guys can just kind of watch the whole story about me breaking down in that truck on my second test drive with it. Um, all it was was, I was driving down the road, it started spitting and sputtering. It was the first time I've driven the truck in the rain, so I figured, ah, maybe it's the distributor. Next thing you know, um, I let the original owner of the truck, who we bought it off of, take it for a drive and just, you know, see what we've done to it so far. And it started to spit and sputter on him. I was like, don't worry about it, man. Like, you know, I'll figure it out later. So I hung out at his house. It was raining, raining, raining. I get in the truck, I go to drive home, and it starts spitting and sputtering and it completely died on me. So I was like, man, this is kind of weird. And I, I was looking at the gas gauge and it said three quarters. And I was like, yo, since we've gotten this truck, there's no way this thing is still stuck at three quarters like of a tank. So we um, had it towed home. I wasn't gonna have anybody try to go out and get me gas cans. A lot of people weren't answering their phones. It was, at the time I broke down, it was about 12.30 at night. And I didn't get home until three in the morning. Uh, so I sat on the side of the road. I pushed the truck a good couple blocks down the road. Um, so you guys will see the whole story. But yeah, I threw some gas in it, primed it up, and started right up. So let's jump into that right now, too. Well, it seems like there's going to be more to this build series than I would like to admit. Just had to push the truck from the house all the way down there through the intersection right here to get it out of the road. The police had asked me to. I was just visiting the kid we bought the truck off of, showing him the truck. We got to talk in. I'm a talking person. It's like 12 o'clock at night. Sure enough, I'm driving down the road. It starts spitting and sputtering and died. And now, every time I go to crank it, we just get... But it sounds like no spark. I thought at first it could have been a charging problem. Usually the belts uh, start slipping, the alternator doesn't charge the battery, but it seems like we have enough power. But it died as if the battery was dead while we were driving, but we have enough power to keep it cranking. So maybe it's a problem with sparks, so we'll change the button, the rotor, the wires, and the spark plugs. But man, this truck is doing so good too. And now we're on the side of the road. But it looks, at least you look kind of bad, you know? So I'll take it. Good memories here.
Hey, what's up guys? So I just want to make this quick little clip just for some educational purposes for anybody learning. So basically, usually when something goes wrong with your vehicle, it's it's either air, spark, or fuel. Those are like the three most essential things you need to keep your vehicle running. Well, the reason why I would have thought I needed spark is because I wasn't getting combustion. And in my, in my head, because the gas gauge read three quarters, I thought I was getting fuel. And, you know, I knew I was getting air and I had power at the battery. So it led me to believe I didn't have spark. But since I didn't have gas in the truck, that's why I wasn't getting any combustion. You know, the rest goes on from there. So we'll get back into the story. One more clip too. I just uh, moved her down the road just a little bit more. I got this nice uh, open side section right here. Our tow truck can just back right up and hook up to her. Thankfully, she's not too low to where we're going to have too many problems getting her on a truck. Well, one of many times this Nissan's going to end up on the back of a flatbed. That's for sure. Well, there goes the tow truck driver. Almost just uh, slipped and died. We got the truck home now, so this is a good thing. I think first things first, we haven't filled up the truck with gas since we got it. So... I'm thinking maybe the gas gauge is broken and we could have ran out, or it's the distributor, so we'll find out tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So I figured I'd take you with me to see what is going on with the truck today. We are going to do a little bit of troubleshooting. We're going to try to figure out what the problem is. So just to show you guys, so I don't look like I'm crazy, this is our gauge cost here. You can see our fuel is right on three quarters, even when, so I got to move the wheel to the key to turn even with the key in it sits right there at three quarters neutral we get nothing so what I'm beginning to think is we filled up the truck the day we got it and I didn't think we really did that much driving around but you know could have done that so we're gonna just start with a simple easy let's throw fuel in it and just see what happens so after the world's slowest tank fill up with this tank, I'm beginning to think this is exactly our issue. It started when it was raining last night and that's why it made me think it was the distributor. But I'm gonna try to crank this thing over and we'll see what happens. So just like this, every time you turn your key, you can hear a slight whistle and that's fuel being like, you know, sent up to where it needs to go. And every time I turn the key, I could hear the fuel pushing the air out. What would you know? So, as simple as that, guys, our gas gauge is just broken. You know what I mean? I saw that yesterday. I saw it said, oh, hey, it says three quarters. Man, it was such a simple thing. I tried to call a couple friends, but you know, it was it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, so everybody was dead asleep. But just like that, it was, I mean, it wasn't so much my fault, you know what I mean? The, the tank says three quarters, so we know that's busted now, we have to fix that. But it also wasn't really the truck's fault, so. Hey, at least that's uh, all it needed was gas. Woo. Boy, oh boy, are these my favorite videos to make. It's four days right before Christmas, we kind of did it to ourselves by sending it a little too hard with that little burnout um it was a used differential we just just swapped into this truck and looks like i'll need another used differential to swap into this truck it uh the differential let go the truck won't move and it's going to be this truck's first time ever on a flatbed so excited for you guys to come along uh, with me for that one well i'm excited to show you guys this video on how to change a differential i'll make a part two to all this but yeah it's already 11 14 and we gave him a call and there's still no tow truck driver fun times well we let our other friend go home we grabbed lexus's truck and lexus has work in the morning the other tow truck company canceled so who knows how long we'll be sitting here so i got travis coming with the black truck and we're just gonna sit in that let it idle stay warm in that it's smaller it's more efficient to you know sit and try to keep warm it's freezing cold outside i mean it's probably like 10 or 15 degrees outside right now so um yeah travis is gonna come pick me up and we're just gonna sit in his truck and wait for the tow truck now you guys can hear it every time i let off the gas i mean this thing is cooked it seized on us a couple times but 
the tow truck's just taking so long. We put our hazards on and we're gonna head home. So we'll uh, I'll update you guys if we uh, make it. Not too pretty sounding though. Man, she's only sounding worse. Just listen to this thing. Wow. Hopefully we make it home from here. But wow, does she not? She sounds terrible. Well, we're just about to make it home. Some deers just jumped right in front of us. It was kind of crazy that I almost hit a deer trying to baby this truck back home. It was so, I mean, we're going so slow, but. All right, here we are, we're home. We're gonna pull in, drop this thing off for the night, and I'll uh, probably come look at it in the morning. All right, so just like last time, we always wanna make sure our fill plug can be broken free before draining it. All right, I'm gonna slide our drain bucket under here. And I'm already expecting to see silver fluid. Yep, there it is. Of course. Look how slow that's coming out of there. That's terrible. And right here on this magnet, that's all metal shavings. So we're just gonna let this literally sit here for quite a while and just drain right out. And um, I'll have a video coming your way for it.